Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at Ascension by Cubic Audio. Let's have a look at it. So Ascension is an absolutely massive workstation synth. As you can see on screen from the Cubic Audio website, there's 1700 presets and over six gig of content. Ascension itself has been out for a while. However, version 1.6 has just been released to build on what was already an impressive synth in version 1.5. At the heart of the synth are four multi-mode oscillators. And if you click on the wavetable selection here, you can see that they're typical subtractive wave types, as well as thousands upon thousands of individual wavetables here. And these are taken from old analog hardware, as well as digital as well as various custom ones, single cycle waveforms, thousands upon thousands of waveforms here. If we now click on browser up here, we can see all the 1700 presets that we have at our disposal. So every single type that you could possibly imagine is here. So leads, effects, choruses, basses, arps, anything you want. However, that might become a bit overwhelming. So then you have the amazing search function here. So we might want drums, for example, and you click on drums and you have them filtered here, or choirs, basses, etc. Pianos. However, even better than that, if you click up here, you can click on tags, and these are all the tags that are assigned to each of these presets. So we might want, for example, Hoover, and then we have all the Hoover presets listed down here. Let's go and find a bass now. So let's go bass, then go find something. Analog Cyber sounds interesting. Maybe hard trance. Okay, that will do, sub dance. What I wanted to show was now the arpeggiator section. So if we turn this on, we have the typical arpeggiator. So nothing special there, just your typical up. We can however choose a pattern. Let's go baseline pattern one. Up preset. Let's choose another one, 22. However, the best bit of this arpeggiator is if you choose mode, you do MIDI player. And now if we go to browser, and then in the preset selection, instead of presets, we select MIDI, click on one of the base ones, and now we have thousands upon thousands of MIDI presets. Now this just expands the synth infinitely. So now when we close this and we play this back, we now have this MIDI preset loaded into the MIDI player. So if I play this back, then we're now playing that up. Well, I shouldn't say up, we're now playing this MIDI pattern within the arpeggiator. Super cool. And then if we like that, and we want to use that somewhere else, then we just simply drag it to our project and then we have it like so. So you can see with a combination of these thousands upon thousands of presets, as well as all these MIDI patterns, the flexibilities are endless. Plus being able to drag that MIDI into your project and then use it in another synth, for example, really opens up a whole new world. But let's try and create something. So I'm just going to go to browser. I'm just gonna put it on initialize for now, close. And then let's get rid of this second track and let's see what we can come up with. I just want a, let's just put a standard 4-4 on for now. And then we want a kick drum. Let's go browser, let's go tags. We want drum and let's have a look at what we have. And then let's go with number five. Okay, let's duplicate the track now. So we have kick, and then let's do bass. Let's go bass once again.
That's okay. Let's see what else we can find. What do we have in terms of analog types? Okay, that might work. I know it's one octave too high, but we'll fix that in a minute. Let's go to our browser once again. Now we're going to choose MIDI. Get rid of analog, don't need that. Let's go down to, let's say, Uplifting Trance. We have these bass presets here. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. Let's now add, I think, want some hats next. Let's just duplicate this one again. The only reason why I'm duplicating is just to keep the Ascension instance loaded. No other reason than that. Typical offbeat open hat pattern. Rename this. Open hat. Let's just solo this one for now. Play this back. And then we'll go to our browser again. Tags. And then we'll go hi-hat let's see what we have closed hat let's just see what else we have open analog style hat that sounds interesting yeah i like that one Let's now add some kind of a lead to it, I think. Duplicate this one again, rename this one lead. And this one we're going to use the internal MIDI of, of Ascension. So let's delete these like so. Let's go tags, we can do lead. That could be an option, Alpha Trance, so let's keep that one. We go to our browser again, MIDI, and then we had, it was Uplifting Trance Volume 3, I think it was. Let's see what this melody does to that. Here we go, now we're getting some wear. Let's see what else we can add to maybe some chords to that. Let's duplicate this one again. Duplicate. Chords. First of all, let's go into our browser, into the MIDI, Uplifting Trance Volume 3. 
Let's stick with number one, as we had earlier. So let's drag this MIDI in, like so. Pluck. Obviously we need something more sustained. Or maybe let's go, so I think I want it needs to be a pad. Just solo this one again. So many options. Super cool. And just so easy to come up with something really nice with this amazing browser. And given the price that it's on sale at Audio Plugin Deals for, it is an absolute no-brainer in my view. So go check it out if you make electronic or dance music, which this synth is predominantly aimed towards. You absolutely love this thing. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly with more. See you then. Bye.